right? Now remember, we constructed something called the derivative, and the derivative we said is a function. We also defined it as the gradient of the, the tangent, right? Now remember when I started this section, I said calculus is essentially the mathematics of? Change. The mathematics of change, right? So when you look at a curve like this and a function like this, there's my parabola. When we look at that parabola, we know that the, the gradient changes, right? Am I right? Yes? The gradient changes. Because if you think of pushing a box up on this mountain or this hill, you have to push a lot here, you have to push less there, and here you wouldn't have to push much at all, right? Are we good? Because what is changing? What is changing? The steepness, which is called the? The slope of the curve is changing, right? So when the slope of that curve is changing, we say that the gradient is changing. And if the gradient of a tangent is the same as the gradient at a point, then we can conclude that the gradient of the tangent changes depending on where that tangent is. Are you guys with me? Okay. Now, in a previous video, I also introduced to you to something called a problem. What was the problem? Well, it's not zero over zero, but it's when you have, when you are seeking the gradient at? One point. At one point. When you are seeking the gradient at? One point. one point. But to really define a gradient, to define a curve, what do you need? You need two points. So now, to, to help you solve that, I'm going to introduce you to something. And I'm going to say, let's say I have a curve that looks like that, right? And I want the gradient at this point here. Right, which is a single point. There's a trick that we're going to use. And that trick is called it's called I'm just gonna isolate that part. And that trick is called zoom zoom zoom. What's it called? Right. So it means that if you take a single point and you do the following, what do you do? Right, you zoom, 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 then what will happen is eventually that point will start to look like a straight line. If you zoom in, and you zoom in, and you zoom in, I have no idea if that's spelled correctly, infinitesimally, right? Just look up the word and then I can fix it on the slide before we end this recording. Okay? Um, if you zoom in at the infinity level, if you keep zooming in, you take a single point and you zoom in infinitesimally, then what's going to happen? It's, that point starts looking like a straight line. Now, do you see how the concepts come together of pulling the points infinitesimally close together? Right? Because it's the same as doing what? Zoom, 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 to that level such that that point starts to look like a straight line. Now do you see, if I draw a line, if I draw a line, right? I draw a line through that point. Do you see that? Do you agree that if I draw two lines on top of each other, what's the same about those lines? Then what will be the same? The same. The same. The slope. Very good. So guys, this line that you draw through a single point, that line is called the, the what? The tangent line. Because the gradient of that point is the same as the gradient of that line. Do you see that? Are you guys with me? Yes or no? Okay. So, what can I do with a single point? I can? I can zoom in infinitesimally, right? And then that point will start to look like what? A straight line. And if I draw a line through that straight line exactly the same, both lines will have what? The same gradient. And therefore we can now say the derivative, which is the gradient at a single point, is has the same gradient as the tangent line through that point. Are you guys with me? Okay. Now, let's continue defining the tangent. Okay, so again I draw my curve. I've already told you that it, the tangent, right, 
I'm going to give you a definition here. And we're going to formalize this one. The tangent to the curve f of x at a, b. Right? So this means that we're talking about a tangent to this specific graph, right? To the curve f of x, and let's just say I've named the graph f at a, b. What is a, b, people? Of a? Of a what? I don't mean a. Of a p. Oh my word. Of a point. Right. So this a and b, yes, correctly so, they are coordinates of a point. So we're saying the tangent to the curve f of x at a, b, right, touches the curve, right, touches the curve only once, right, and the definition is not done, I'm going to continue on the next slide, it touches the curve only once when it is near a b in other words when it's near that point right and that definition is not done so when it is near a b so you've already seen if i take this point are you guys with me and i draw this line in such a way that i have a line through that point right are you guys with me that line that's going through that point is said to be a tangent at that point. Are you guys with me? It's a tangent at the point that is sky blue. Yes, no? Okay. But what about this line? Is this a tangent line? What about this line? Is that a tangent line? It's not a tangent line because when you think back to what I've done, remember I zoomed in. And then I drew a line through it. And then I concluded that the, the line and that point must have the same gradient. must have the same gradient, right? So this is not a tangent line, neither is this. Even though it touches only, it touches only once, right? So when you define a tangent, many textbooks will tell you it is a curve that touches the graph at only one point. That is not enough. Because we've now learned, based on calculus, it must touch only once when it's near, when it's near that point, right? And number two, and is parallel to f of x. It's parallel to the curve at that same point. Now, what do I mean by parallel? It has the same gradient as that point, which means, how do you prove that? You zoom in infinitesimally or to the infinite level. And then what do you do? You draw a line through that point. It's like drawing the same line on top of it. Are we good? Now I've got another question for you. This, this curve, of this line here, right? Let's take another point. Okay? Let's take another point. Um, and let's go with a line. I draw a line through that point. Do you see that there? How many times is it touching? Only once, right? At that point. Is this a tangent line? Okay, why? Firstly, it touches only once when it's near and it has the same gradient as that point, right? Now, I've got another question for you. What if I extend this line? How many times does it touch the curve? Twice. Is it still a tangent? Yes but it's a tangent to this point over here. Okay. It's not a tangent for that point, oh. but it's a tangent for Definitely. this point. Now, do you see where the definition of near comes in? Yeah. Hmm? Okay, because the tangent is defined at a specific point. Okay, right up. So we're gonna come back to this. So that gives you the definition of the tangent using the concept of zoom, 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 right.